Good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Gary's Movie Aquarium. Uh, today is uh, August 16th, 2020. Um, and my uh, haul here is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm, I'm only going to do like a set amount of them because if I do like all the ones I got, like basically spill the whole whole stack in like one or two videos it's gonna take forever so I'm just gonna do try to try to do between 10 to 12 movies and then it spreads it out over time and then you kind of get the focus on what I do have a little more but uh first up I have the movie The Last Rites of uh, Ransom Pride it stars singer country singer Dwight Yoakam big fan of Dwight um, Lizzie Kaplan John Foster, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, and Chris Christopherson from the Blade series. The West was never this wild. Um, this is an Echo Bridge uh, acquisition, 2017. Um, in Mexico, prostitutes. Juliet Flowers promises her dying out while of her ransom pride. She will transport his body back to glory and be buried beside his mother. And complicating her mission, mysterious vengeful woman and his preacher father, Dwight Yoakam, who's a preacher in this, who both want her dead. From Mexico to Texas, they there will be hell to pay. Also starring John Foster, Peter Dinklage, Chris Christopherson, and Blue Mancuma. This is a Screen Media Films release. Next up is the horror classic, uh, The Loved Ones, a truly demented masterpiece, says uh, Josh Olson from Ain't It Cool News. This is a really brutal movie, though. It's, it's good. It's really, it's really good, but it's really brutal in parts. Like the director did a really good job capturing insanity in a horror film. Uh, can't see the back too good. Let's see. Hell hath no fury like a prom queen scorned. When Brett rejects Lala's invitation to the prom, he sets off a chain of events that leave him the victim of her twisted revenge. Now he's the only guest at Lala, Lola's, I mean Lola's, uh, terrifying and demented prom and must fight to survive what could be his final dance. Will Brett live through this nightmare of drills, nails, glitter, and syringes or become one of Lola's loved ones? Some good performances in this, too. Really, oh, almost too good in a lot of ways for horror, you know. Sometimes horror has really bad performances, but that, that was one of the better ones that I've seen, you know, back when it was out. Uh, and then next up, I have the Horror Cinema series that has over 14 hours and 12 features. Features include The Terror, Lady Frankenstein, King of the Zombies, Night of the Blood Beast, she demons and many more. Jack Nicholson on the cover. Uh, this is an Echo Bridge Home Entertainment uh, release from 2011. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I set all of these in the front. Uh, it says it's got Sound of Horror, uh, Satanic Rites of Dracula. Monstrosity, King of the, well, I guess I already said King, uh, Black Dragons, comes in two discs, that's pretty neat, very rarely see that from Echo Bridge, so, it's got a whole slew of, uh, titles in there, and then I got, Jeepers Creepers, the original, uh, with a little bit of a cardboard slip on the outside. It's inside the packaging, but this is not going anywhere because it's got this. I have a original MGM. This is an MGM copy, but 
Mine was probably from another year, but I, I bought that way back when. I want to get them on Blu-ray, like Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 on the same uh, physical uh, case. This is from 2001. Man, it does not seem like it's been 19 years since the original Paper Scrapers. Love this movie. One of the better horror, horror experiences at the theater that I had. I didn't even see that one at the drive-in, I'm not sure. I do know it was a good time to be had. Uh, next up, I got the Steven Seagal 4 movie collection. This is a $5, uh package of, uh, you know, physical disc when it was uh, in the stars. It's an Echo Bridge. It's from 2018. has such classics as Driven to Kill, Kill Switch, Mercenary for Justice, and Today You Die. For a uh, film collection, justice will be served on both sides of the law as homicide detectives, black ops, I think Agents, former mobsters, and wrongfully wrongfully imprisoned men find their own form of rightful vengeance. Uh, the, let's see. Uh, these are these are all definitely Steven Seagal with him in it. At least it's not one of those discs where like four of the movies and then he might be in one or two and then the rest are somebody else. But these are all Steven. These are bona fide Steven Seagal. Uh, titles and either stars or co-stars in them. <clears throat> and then next up I got from the studio that brought you Train to Busan called Rampet. Comes with a slip but sticky tags kind of holding it in place for now. And it's another one of those ones that like see the shininess there? I like that. Um, language is in Korean, uh, but it does have English subtitles, so that's cool. Like I said, it's from uh, people that brought you, uh, studio that brought you Train to Busan, so. Oh, it does have zombies in it, too. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just villagers, you know, like, coming after him, but it's a horde of zombies if you look really close. Should be good though. Looks like some pretty good uh, zombie effects in here. So this was a 2018 release. And then next up, I got the four film collection uh, action. Uh, this has C. Bunraku or Bunraka. 96 Minutes, Ironclad, and Bounty Killer. This is from 2018 Echo Bridge. Sorry about the green sticker there. Looks like they randomly just put that on this one for some reason. Maybe it was the top of the stack or something. I don't know. Um, all of these, well, Ironclad clocks in at two hours. Bounty Killer 93 minutes. 96 minutes is actually 95 minutes. And Munraku is 125 minutes, so it's quite a long one. There's the back. And next up, I have the Pink Panther Classic Cartoon Collection, Swinging in the Pink. Includes 27 original cartoons and it's volume 4. I like the uh, covering, you know, the cover art for this. Uh, includes episodes 1 through 9, 10 through 18, and 19 through 27. Uh, features an all new digital transfer on these, so this should look really good. It's an MGM release. Uh, this has quite a lot of. TV or you know episodes on here it has see almost two and a half hours of uh, pure fun of uh, Pink Panther 
I remember them showing Pink Panther before movies when I'd go. For a while, they used to play like a long three or four minute Pink Panther cartoon before they started the presentation of the film they were showing. Kind of missed that. And then, uh, next up is a horror title. It's called em Empty Rooms with four bonus movies. Kind of a really creepy cover. It has, like it says, has five movies. First movie up is Empty Rooms. Wes Craven presents Don't Look Down. 19 Doors. M movie number four, Dark Spirits. And movie number five, Evidence of a Haunting. This is a 2015 Echo Bridge. Uh, the main movie, Empty Rooms, is a uh, devoted single mom, Maddie Usher, and her new autistic son, Jonah, have just moved into an old house in a quiet neighborhood where suddenly his behavior completely changes. Take it that must be the little boy on the front cover, maybe. But, uh, there's the back. Really happy finding this. There's a lot more horror in this uh, wave than past past ones. And then I got a West, well, it looks like it could be a Western, like a Western, um, like a drama called uh, Lost in the Barrens. I have Lost in the Barrens on several renditions of the Echo Bridges that I've gotten, but I, this is the first time I've gotten one that's uh, by itself. It, and it says the epic Emmy Award winning adventure story. And it has that lost writing to like in the show. At least I think it does. Um, 2010 Echo Bridge uh, releasing. We're all rights reserved, in other words. Um, Jamie, an orphan teenager attending prep school, is sent to live with his uncle Angus in the wilderness after his scholarship runs out. Cultures collide as Jamie refuses to accept his new bearings, but with the encouragement of Angus and Mewis and Graham Greene from uh, Dances with Wolves. Uh, let's see, plenty. I think he might have played in Picket Fences, maybe. He reluctantly joins the local tribes haunt when Jamie and Young tribal hunter Oasis become separated from their group the two slowly learn to respect and depend on each other to survive in unforgiving land so it's pretty promising still haven't gotten around to watching it though uh, and then this is the final DVD for this video uh, this is a Nickelodeon show called Hey Dude Season 1 has 13 episodes, and it's two discs. Uh, this is a Shout, um, I don't know if this is a Shout Kids, or if it's just a Shout Factory, but this is a Shout Factory. I mean, I found a number of these Shout Factories in the, uh, phases and stuff, waves, if you will. Uh, pretty lucky to find this. Kind of remember it on Nickelodeon back in the day. It's from 1989. But it's a uh, 2011 Viacom International All Rights Reserved release. Uh, has the Shout Factory uh, web link on here. Um, come on down to the Bar Nun Ranch and follow the summer antics of ranch owner Benjamin Ernst and his diverse crew of teens as they work and plan a dude ranch in Arizona. Stars Christine, Christine Taylor as lifeguard Melody, David Lasher as senior staff member, Ted Kelly, Ted Kelly Brown as horse trainer, Brad Joe Torres as Hopi Indian native Danny, Deborah Coleman as ranch hand Lucy, and Josh, Josh Teagle as Ernst son Buddy. Hey, hey Dude premiered in 1989 on Nickelodeon and quickly became a fan favorite with its hip young cast and comedic if not touching storyline set against an authentic southwestern backdrop. So saddle up for some fun in the sun out on the range with Hey Dude in season one. I don't know if they realize that right. <laughs> so saddle up for fun in the sun 
not on the range with Hey Dude Season 1. <laughs> uh, bonus features, new interview with Christian Christine Taylor. And this is Kicking Up Dirt at Barn on Ranch. I, I remember it, but I don't, I don't think I've ever actually... I kind of just flipped through it, so... I don't know. I never really got into it, I don't think. But like I said, this is a two-disc set. It says it was uh, released on DVD for the first time. So maybe they'll have other seasons on the, on the future uh, waves. And then I got, out of this, I got two last Blu-rays, and then that's it for this video. I don't want to clock in for too long, because... Sometimes you can get a, too long of a video and it turns people off. I know they like the haunts and, and things, but I don't want to overkill, you know, in one video. Uh, this stars Ryan Pod 10, Sarah Canning, Will Sasso, and Catherine O'Hara. Uh, the right kind of wrong. Leo just met the love of his life at her wedding. Uh, this is a Magnolia release. That's uh, the actor who played Jason Stack Stackhouse on uh, True Blood. Three big True Blood fans. Basically, this guy falls for this girl when she's already being married to some for somebody to somebody else. So I'm assuming she gets cold feet, and these are so predictable. <laughs> uh, she gets cold feet probably, and he wins her over. Who knows? By the end. It's these two are probably getting hitched, you know, and it's kind of, that's, well, that's one thing I don't like about these, they're so, a lot of times they're so predictable. Not knocking on love interest stuff, but, oh, I don't, I don't, I, more, my wife got, I more or less got this. It's from 2013, 5.1. Winning performances, especially from the likable uh, Ryan Quinten and Charming says Variety. And then last up, I got this as an extra because um, I believe uh, well, I can't remember who it was that wanted this. They said something about trying to get an extra copy of it so I, I went back last night and I threw this one and I put it in the first video um, it's called Strad style not your typical boy not your typical boy makes violin story Strad style 104 minutes it's a documentary it's a growth Gravitas Ventures release from 2018, although it says 2017 for uh, the art design, so, but it's actually saying 2018. Uh, it has a number of special features on here, uh, audio commentary, deleted scenes, extras, Chrysler and Castle, House Resettled by Rezvan Stoka. An injury of Stoica, theatrical trailer, and more. Um, 5.1 English Dolby Digital, widescreen presentation, and now uh, closed captioning is available for all the hearing impaired. So, that wraps up what I'm going to do for today. I just kind of wanted to get a little bit of a taste out there of what I got. It's not about, with well, this video, it's probably not about the quantity but more about the quality in terms of like how I shoot it because I don't want to keep you guys all day because I'm running at close to 20 minutes so hope you enjoyed that first part of the haul and get out there and hopefully you can find some good titles on your own and you know and add to your collection and, and uh, you all stay safe out there continue to wear the mask guys because there's still people in stores that are not wearing them, and I've had people, like, in line when you're waiting to cash out, like, right on top of me. Like, they're not standing on the sticker that's on the floor. Or, I mean, I literally one time had a guy, like, right behind me reaching over me to get something on the top shelf, and I'm like, my wife goes, 
did you see that? I go, what's that? She goes, my guy was so close to you. She goes, if he had COVID, he'd give it to you. And I go, I know, Ange, that's, wasn't going to start an argument with him or anything, but it makes you feel like you could, if you got COVID, you could sue people over it because it's ridiculous how people are with COVID. Some people don't care at all about it, and then you get some people that are petrified. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I kind of let things go somewhat, but anytime after I'm I, I know, after I do a haul, if I go to the bathroom, you know, no matter what, I'm always washing my hands. I, I very rarely touch a bathroom door. I, like, take my elbow and put kind of push into it so I don't have to touch it. Um, I don't know, I kind of lean my body into a door to go out to the car, that kind of thing. If it, you know, keeps another person from getting COVID, I, you know, it's worth it, you know. People probably think I'm weird and for doing that, I just like to be, you know, precautious and stuff, so, uh, hope everybody enjoyed my video, and this is not about COVID, but I like to talk about it, because, you know, because you need to talk about it sometimes to keep your sanity, but, uh, I'll talk to you again in another video, I'll probably drop one tomorrow, uh, my wife's off work tomorrow, I'll be able to do a little bit longer, longer video, uh, enjoy, uh, the hunt, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. See you later, guys. Bye.